You guys asked for this in the comments, so I'm making the video. Garmin Venue 2 versus the Garmin Phoenix 6S. Which one's right for you? Welcome back to the channel, I'm Dave from Chase the Summit, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Garmin Venue 2 and how it compares to the older Garmin Phoenix 6S. The reality is these are two very different watches for two very different people, and I don't think they really compare to each other, but because I saw this in the comments so often, I wanted to make the video. Before we dive into this though, I do want to thank today's sponsor, and that is Playbetter.com. Playbetter.com is a USA-based authorized Garmin retailer, and they also offer free two-day shipping and a no-hassle free 60-day return policy. You can change your mind almost two months later and still get your money back, which is awesome. Not only that, there is an exclusive Play Better discount for viewers of my channel, and you'll find that in the description down below. And while you're down there, there will be links to the Garmin Phoenix 6S and the Venue 2, and those links do help support my channel, but they cost nothing extra to you. Finally, if you do enjoy this video, you find it helpful or entertaining, or you're one of the people that asked for this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. Keep in mind that this is not going to be a full in-depth review of both watches. I really want to highlight the high level differences between the two and talk about which one's right for you. If you want to learn more about each watch individually and not just this high level comparison, I do have full reviews about each of them in different videos and I'll link those up here if you want to check them out. Boy, that was a lot of talking. I apologize for that. First of all, let's take a look at the hardware differences between the Garmin Phoenix 6S on the right here and the Garmin Venue 2 on the left here. This is the standard Garmin Venue 2, not the 2S, so it comes in at a 45 millimeter diameter where the Garmin Phoenix 6S comes in at a 42 millimeter diameter. So the footprint is a bit smaller with the Garmin Phoenix 6S. However, if you flip them on their sides, you can see that the Garmin Venue 2 is a really thin 12 millimeters thick, and the Garmin Phoenix 6S on the right here is about two millimeters thicker, so it's a bit more prominent on your wrist. And here are both watches on my men's 165 millimeter circumference wrist. I have a pretty small wrist for a man, and they both fit my wrist pretty well. Even though the Venue 2's footprint is larger than the Phoenix 6S, the Phoenix 6S is significantly heavier. The Venue 2 comes in at just 49 grams, where the Phoenix 6S comes in at 61 grams. That increased weight is mainly due to the superior build quality of the Garmin Phoenix 6S. The Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire I have here has a gray DLC coated bezel that's stainless steel, and it also has a stainless steel backplate. The Garmin Venue 2 here has a stainless steel bezel here, but on the back, it's entirely plastic. The lens material of the Garmin Venue 2 is a Corning Gorilla Glass, where the lens material on my Phoenix 6S here is actually sapphire, so it's much harder to scratch. And of course, the obvious difference between the Garmin Phoenix 6S and the Venue 2 is gonna be the display. The Garmin Venue 2 features a 1.3 inch AMOLED display that is super bright and punchy and vibrant. While the Garmin Phoenix 6S has a memory and pixel transflective display that is kinda dull if you're indoors. However, the Phoenix 6S is much more functional in direct sunlight because of that transflective display. It's a lot like an e-ink pad compared to an iPad because sunlight actually illuminates the Phoenix 6's display a lot better than it does on the Venue 2. That said, in basically all other aspects, I prefer the Garmin Venue 2's display if I'm indoors, but if I'm out running or in any kind of event where I'm moving a lot, I much prefer the display on the Garmin Phoenix 6S. Flipping the two watches over, you can see that the Garmin Phoenix 6S comes with a quick fit band, which you can and pop off with your fingernail and put on a new band where the Garmin Venue 2 uses a quick release band that you can pop off with your fingernail. It's just a little bit of a different style. Both are readily available. The Garmin Venue 2 and the Garmin Phoenix 6S both rely on Garmin's proprietary charging cable, so there's no difference there. But in the middle here, you can see that the Garmin Venue 2 got the new upgraded Elevate 4.0 heart rate sensor, while the Garmin Phoenix 6S here has the Elevate 3.0 heart rate sensor. In terms of heart rate accuracy coming from the Garmin Venue 2 versus the Garmin Phoenix 6S from the optical sensors, it is a bit better on the Garmin Venue 2. The Elevate 4.0 heart rate sensor just seems a little bit more responsive to drops and spikes in heart rate, where the Garmin Phoenix 6S seems to lag a little bit behind. It's definitely not perfect and still not as good as something like a chest strap, but it's a bit better than the Garmin Phoenix 6S in the Elevate 3.0 heart rate sensor. When we look at the user interfaces between these two watches, they're very different. You can see that the 
Garmin Venue 2 is a touch device where the Garmin Phoenix 6S relies on buttons. Both have their pros and cons. I think within an activity in like a running or racing environment, I much prefer buttons because it's a lot easier to feel where they are and click. Where the touch screen, you do have to have a lot more intent. You have to actually look and like touch where you want. And there are moments with the Venue 2 where I get a little bit worried. Like when you save an activity, it's really easy to accidentally swipe the wrong way and delete the activity, which would be awful. <laughs> Everything on the Garmin Phoenix 6S just feels a little bit more secure because you're like clicking a button. That's just my preference, yours may vary. The user interface and the responsiveness between the Garmin Venue 2 and the Garmin Phoenix 6S is kind of night and day. The new Venue 2 got an all new GPU and CPU, so it's very responsive. And you can see, you can click on things like the heart rate graph here and actually scroll back laterally in time, which is pretty cool. Where everything on the Garmin Phoenix 6S is a click of a button, there's definitely no lags. It's definitely very responsive for a watch, but the Garmin Venue 2 is kind of on a, another level. It's kind of like an Apple Watch compared to a Garmin, even though both of these are Garmin's. I don't know what I'm saying. In terms of smartwatch features, the Venue 2 and Phoenix 6S are pretty much the same. However, they handle things a little bit differently. Both watches can read text messages and emails and phone calls and all that stuff. Both watches integrate with calendars, so you'll see alerts for birthday parties and meetings and all that stuff. Both the Venue 2 and Phoenix 6S will track your wellness data, like your stairs climbed, your sleeping, your steps, your active calories, and more. Seems like the Venue 2 has gotten a bit of an upgrade in terms of wellness tracking. I think the sleep tracking is a little bit better on the Venue 2 than it is on the Phoenix 6S. Even though the Phoenix 6S is pretty good now with the latest update, and the Garmin Phoenix 6S and Venue 2 both feature body battery, which gives you kind of an idea of how much energy you have reserved left in your day. It turns your body into a figurative battery where when you're sleeping, you're recharging your battery, and when you're running or exercising, you're draining your battery throughout the day. And the idea is that you wanna to try to get back to 100% while you're sleeping or resting before your next big activity. And both the Garmin Venue 2 and Phoenix 6S Sapphire and Pro feature offline music, which is pretty cool. You can sync music from Deezer or Spotify and various other platforms to the Garmin Phoenix 6S and Venue 2 and listen to your music phone free. In terms of GPS accuracy, between these two watches, they're pretty much the same. I don't think there's any advantage to one or the other. I'm pretty sure they're using the same chipset in both of these watches, so they're giving pretty similar results. So far, these are sounding pretty darn similar on paper, so what's the major advantage to the Garmin Phoenix 6S over a Garmin Venue 2? Let's talk about battery life because that seems to be the most important subject to a lot of people. First, I wanna tell you how I use these watches. I run every single day and my run duration can be anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours. I wear the watch 24 seven, even to bed, and the only time I take it off is to charge it. So I did that for a week with both the Garmin Venue 2 and the Garmin Phoenix 6S. And in my general life, you know, running every day, wearing these watches 24 seven, sleeping with them, never taking them off until they need to be charged, I find that I get about five days on the Garmin Venue 2, whereas I get about nine days out of the Garmin Phoenix 6S. In terms of GPS battery life, it's a bit different. I went on a two hour long run wearing the Garmin Venue 2 and the Phoenix 6S. After that two hour long run, I lost about 12% of battery on the Garmin Venue 2, whereas I only lost about 8% on the Phoenix 6S. So that's to say you lose about 6% per hour on the Venue 2, and 4% per hour on the Phoenix 6S. That's totally acceptable on both, but of course the Phoenix 6S is a little bit better here. This all comes down to how you use the watches as well. If you have the brightness maxed out on the Venue 2 and you have the always on display feature turned on, then you're gonna kill the battery life a lot quicker than I'm getting with these tests. I tested this with the out of the box settings. I didn't tweak them at all. Something else to consider is that the Garmin Phoenix 6S also has power modes where you can custom tailor what's turned on and off to really maximize your battery life. For instance, if you turn on a power mode to disconnect from your phone, you gain a little bit more battery life and it's pretty easy to get about five to 10 more hours out of this watch with certain power modes. Another difference that the Garmin Phoenix 6 has over the Venue 2 is that it does have a proper multi-sport or triathlon mode where the Venue 2 does not. So if you're a triathlete, it's kind of a no brainer here, go for the Phoenix 6S. The Garmin Phoenix 6S also features advanced training metrics like training load, training status and recovery time. These tools can be really handy if you're training for a race, you to know when you're peaking or you're under training or you're maintaining your fitness, the Phoenix 6S has you covered there. The Garmin Venue 2, again, does not feature these metrics. And let's talk about the final feature that the Phoenix 6S has that the Garmin Venue 2 does not have, this is available on the Sapphire and Pro models, is mapping. The Garmin Phoenix 6S has the most advanced offline mapping system 
packed into a tiny watch on your wrist. It's really quite amazing. You've got points of interest support. You've got full topographic color mapping. Uh, it's really powerful stuff. If you're a trail runner or a hiker or camper or any of those people, you'll probably find a pretty big benefit in going with a Phoenix 6S Pro or Sapphire. The Garmin Venue 2 does not feature any form of navigation at all, except for a simple bearing, which is basically like an arrow that kind of tries to point you in the right direction. So keep that in mind. If you're an outdoorsy person, you probably want to go for something like a Phoenix 6S Pro or Sapphire. In terms of pricing, the Garmin Venue 2 comes in at $399 and the Phoenix 6S starts at $549. But that will get you the base model that doesn't have mapping or music or Wi-Fi on board. So keep that in mind. If you want the model I have here, it'll cost you about $749, which is quite a bit more than $399 on the Venue 2. Okay, so at the end of the day, who are these watches for? Because they're certainly not for the same person. The Venue 2 is designed for active people, but not to the extreme. You're somebody who runs or jogs or walks, maybe you ride a bike several times a week, but you're not somebody who participates in marathons or ultra marathons or any of that stuff. And you also prioritize a really high quality display with that AMOLED display, which makes it great for reading text messages or emails or whatever. The Venue 2 is also really smooth and fluid to use. It's just a pleasure to use. You feel like you're kind of in that Apple Watch territory. The Garmin Phoenix 6S, on the other hand, is purpose-built for adventure, outdoors people, camping, hiking, ultra marathons, triathlons, all that stuff. This watch is great for ultra running because it has offline mapping, you can project a waypoint, you can do all kinds of interesting things on the Garmin Phoenix 6S that you cannot do on the Venue 2. And you've also got the advanced training metrics like training load and training status on board. Both of these watches are really awesome for the right person, but they're very different for different people. Honestly, it's kind of hard for me because on a day-to-day -day basis, I love wearing the Venue 2. It's just really nice, lightweight, sleek, looks good, great display, love going to work with it, you know, sitting at my desk. It's really a great watch to wear as a daily driver. But if I'm going on some big adventure in the mountains, I'm probably going to reach for my Garmin Phoenix 6S. Anyways, I hope that helped some of you out there try to make a decision between these two watches because there appears to be a lot of you. If you found this video helpful or entertaining or whatever, Please give me a thumbs up down below, really helps out my channel, and consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. And of course, I will have links to Play Better and Amazon in the description down below if you decide to pick one of these up. Those do help support my channel, but it costs nothing extra to you. That's really all I've got for this one. I probably missed something, but I tried. I'll see you next time.